Hi, hello, this is a new video. I'm here with uh, I will talk uh, about uh, Lat Sura and let's start. Um, and tell the believing woman to subdue their eyes and maintain their chastity. They shall not reveal any part of their bodies except that which is necessary. They shall cover their chests and shall not relax the skull in the presence of other than their husbands, fathers, fathers of their husbands, their sons, the sons of their husbands, their brothers, the sons of their brothers, the son of sons of their sisters, other women, the male servants or employees whose sexual drive has been nullified, or the children who haven't reached puberty. They shall not strike their feet when they walk in order to shake and reveal certain details of their bodies. All of you shall repent to God, all you believers, that you may succeed. So here that we see that <coughs> previously also the same thing uh, was asked to man in the same surah. Uh, so subdue their eyes is not mentioned in generally like they in the islamic communities they care the dress code over care about the dress code but they don't it's actually a quite a comprehensive comprehensive verse and it doesn't only mention uh, the dress code uh, so here we cannot it's from the quran i think uh, as i say there's no verse showing that you should uh, close your uh, had with hijab or something I, I cannot see from the Quran and also there here there are people mentioned so and they shall not, so this is also interesting they shall not strike their feet when they walk in order to shake and reveal certain details of their body so I think the the, the thing that the, we they have to uh, the lesson is that do not try to attract attention um, attract attention to your body so just uh, that's it so all of you shall repent to god or that's what i understand from this verse you shall encourage those of you who are single to get married they may marry the righteous among your male and female servants if they're poor god will enrich them from his grace god is bound to us nowhere so it's another thing is that um the verse 32 says that i think uh, um, so don't care a lot about the money they have uh, so that if they are poor, God will en enrich them. So I think the reason is that it is considered as a as a need need for male and females. And here uh, specifically sermons are mentioned because they are sort of uh, uh, among your. They may marry the righteous among your male and female servants if they are poor. So it doesn't specifically mention who are single to marry it. Uh, so. And so nowadays we see that they wait, they have to wait to be rich to marry, and it feels like uh, this is not according to the Quran. And they also spend a lot of money. It's like a wedding or something. It was not mentioned in the Quran. In the Quran it says that you should make it marriage easy, as you see. But in the modern, so-called modern society, they make it hard, and they make it like some sort of the marriages for those to giving money for those uh, facilitate those places so that is my criticism and those who cannot afford to get married shall maintain morality until god provides provides for them from his grace those among your servants to wish to be freed in order to marry you shall grant them their wish once you realize that they're honest and give them from god's money that he has bestowed upon you you shall not force yours force your girls to commit prostitution seeking the matter so this is another thing you shall not force your girls to commit prostitution seeking the materials of this world if they wish to be chastity if anyone forces them then god seeing that their first is forgiver uh, merciful so their god is forgiver merciful not the one for uh, uh, for the people who force but people who were being forced god is forgiver to them because they were forced to do it and it is sort of mentioned here and also it shows that also they cannot be forced to uh, maybe we can get this meaning so they have their own, uh, they may have they have their own freedom of uh, to choose we have revealed to you clarifying revelations and examples from the past generations and enlightenment from the righteous 
God is the light of the heavens and the earth, and the allegory of his light is that a concave mirror behind a lamp that is placed inside a glass container. The glass container is like a bright pearl-like star. The field thereof is supplied from a blessed oil-producing tree that is neither eastern nor western. This oil is almost self-radiating, needs no fire to ignite it. Light upon light. God goes to his light whomever he wills. God does says the parables of for the people. God is fully aware of all the things. God's guidance is found in houses exalted by God, for his name is commemorated therein, glorifying therein, day and night. People who are not distracted by business or trade from commemorating God, they observe the compact prayers and give the obligatory charity, and they are conscious of the day when the minds and the eyes will be horrified. So here, here we see that, so thematically speaking, Previously, uh, so the society, marriage life was mentioned, and then it comes to the houses that um, that they pray God. So because the book is about praying God, uh, so that's uh, uh, that is interesting. And uh, as for the yeah, I previously mentioned this. As for those who in the previous videos will disbelieve, their works are like a mirage in the desert. A thirsty person thinks that this is what is water, but when he reaches it, he finds that it is nothing, and he finds God there instead to requite him fully for his works. God is the most efficient reconner. So this is like a God. Uh, this is like a God give. So this is like a God give His light to people, and and for some people they can do good things, but it is nothing. It is meaningless because actually it is root is God. So only God allowing those good works to be considered as a good work. So it should be done for the God, I guess. That's the meaning. Because the God is the creator of us. And, and so that's why they should do it for, for, the, for God. And if they, they are good people, God will lead them to the right path anyway. Uh, so that's all I want to say in this video. Thanks for watching this video and hope to see you in the next video.